This is the esophagus. And right over here we have the pyloric sphincter, which is a valve which is going to control the outflow of chyme from the stomach into the duodenum. We can divide the stomach into regions based on histology and also based on this topography that we see here. This region right around here, just directly right around here, is referred to as the cardia. This region right over here, which is above the line that I'm indicating right over here, this region right over here is called the fundus. This region right over here, where the stomach narrows and tapers, is referred to as the pyloric region. And then all this region right over here, which is in between those three regions we just spoke about, all this is referred to as the body of the stomach. This is the only place on this model where you see the visceral peritoneum. So you would have a serous membrane on the surface of the entire organ, but it has been stripped away right over here to show you the muscle layers, and it's only right over here where you can see this outermost layer. The muscular wall of the stomach has three layers of smooth muscle. The longitudinal layer goes along the length of the stomach. You can see it here, and if we turn the stomach around, you can also see this longitudinal layer right over here along what is called the greater curvature of the stomach. This is the circular layer of smooth muscle, and this is the longitudinal layer. And then what is done here is that a window is opened up, so they take a piece of the circular layer to reveal the muscle fibers that you see over here, which form the oblique layer. So you have, again, you have the longitudinal layer, which is shown just over here. It's, you see it's not complete around the entirety of the stomach. Here you have the transversely oriented fibers, which form the circular layer. Then here you can see the fibers of the oblique layer. Because you have this dilated portion of the gastrointestinal tract that uh, comprises the stomach, you have, as a result, you have a curve here and a, a larger curve here. And this curve, the lesser curve, is called the lesser curvature of the stomach. And this greater curve, which is on the outside, is the greater curvature of the stomach.